How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back. Key West Waterman, my name is Aaron Young. It is a lovely Wednesday evening here in Key West. It's a little breezy, and it's that time of year where it's trying to cool down. It's just not quite there yet. Um, we're actually good on fish, and I got to thinking I haven't done any camping in the new boat yet. That's kind of what we built it for, one of the main things that we built it for. So um, I just wanted to run out, find a nice spot uh, this evening, and um, just kind of test everything out and make sure it sleeps okay, it feels all right, and uh, just quite honestly give it a test run. But um, I figured I'd bring you guys along. Probably I'm going to bring a rod just in case anything shows up during the nighttime, but um, I don't really have a m much of an agenda as far as harvesting goes. I'm going to bring some food with me. and maybe a couple beers and go out there and just kind of enjoy nature uh, for the evening. I figured I'd bring you, like I said. A um, couple things I did want to, well, one thing I wanted to update you on. Uh, one of the last episodes, Tipsy, our dog, was uh, limping and a lot of you guys were asking what was going on with her. <laughs> Dizzy, what happened? <laughs> She's better now, so she just had one of her paws. It was really swollen, but uh, we got it down and it's all good to go. Um, but... We're just trying to keep her from licking it now, so she's completely just adopted cone life, and she's just living with it. What do you think? Um, and other than that, um, I did want to say a huge thank thank you to everyone um, that got on the wedding registry and showed some love. Just could not be more grateful from from all that, and uh, uh, it's quite flattering. <laughs> And um, just beyond belief, we can't, we cannot thank you all enough. Uh, we're gonna, I think we can write thank yous on the registry. We're gonna try to get to those, but yeah, uh, we're kind of, sure. we're coming down to crunch time. We're less than a month from the wedding, so. Uh, but anyways, enough rambling. Wanted to catch up to speed. I am got the boat loaded. Once we get out there, I'll show you what I got with me. Um, it's on the trailer, so I do have to throw it in the water. But once I get out there, we'll let you guys see the ride out, and I'll see you there. Got a pretty good, I'd say it's an east-northeast wind. Uh, it's a little choppy and I don't really want to sleep in the chop, but I would like to have a breeze. So I'm gonna try and find, I've got a spot in mind that I think will be good coverage, but it'll still have some airflow. I want to be on the leeward side of the island, but I, I still want a little bit of wind to come through. So we're gonna poke around and uh, see what we, what we can find. Like I said, I got something in mind, but one way or another, we'll find somewhere to sleep. So this is one of my favorite spots. I've brought you guys here before. I've never uh, never camped here, but something about it. It's got these little coves and tunnels that are just so inviting there. Kind of, I don't know, mesmerizing a little bit to me. It makes you feel like you're in, uh, you're almost in like a different country or something. But uh, I'm gonna have to put the camera down so I can get in here without crashing all over the place. So we'll get in here and get set up. Feels like I should have breezes coming from this side. You can see it calms down on here, but I can still feel a little bit of breeze kind of running through here. So I'm going to try and get tucked up right in there. We'll get set up for the evening. Watch the sun go down. I imagine I could probably just walk myself in here now. I 
think how I can get positioned. I'm gonna put two lines out. I'm gonna have my power spike or power pole, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm gonna have a stern line hooked with a little bit of slack because the tide is gonna go down, but don't wanna be bumping into stuff all night. Right here. A little tuna clip. I don't want to be running into that. It's going to be noisy. went in. I'll show you. Got a little hand pole here. Breeze is wrapping around here and I'm getting little puffs of air, especially over the top. It's pretty open. I mean it looks it looks really thick that way, but there's actually some air moving through here. And then the air is pretty you can see it's a little bumpy on that side. So shouldn't be too hot. Got sunset right behind me. Got that spike in there. And then this guy over here I should be good. Um the tide goes pretty quick, so within the next few hours, if I feel like I need to move, I can move. But um, here we are. Let's get comfy. So I've got my happy hour chair. Put some of that marine cushion sticky stuff on there so it doesn't scratch up the deck. So I'll show you the expedited version of my camping stuff. Obviously, if we do multiple days... Oh, there's my bagel my dinner um, obviously if we do multiple days um, I'm gonna have more stuff more camping or uh, more cooking and whatnot um, a whole bunch of towels left in here so got a mosquito net koozies bug spray the bugs depends where you're at because what you have to realize is a lot of these islands yes they are mangrove islands and there is water but a lot of the water is flowing there's not a lot of stagnant still water where uh, like mosquitoes and whatnot can uh, breed but I do like to bring spray just in case because you never know. I like to bring a sheet because even though it is still summertime, I think tonight's supposed to be low of like 80, 81. Uh, sometimes you can get chilly during the night. And um, this is my little mat. I think it's got memory foam and it ha holds a little bit of air. So um, that's the gist of it. And I've got some food. Like I said, typically if we're doing a, a more in-depth camping trip, I'm going to have all my cooking utensils and whatnot. But this is just call this a happy hour camping trip. This is a test run. Got my bagel. So since I'm not driving tonight, I think I'm gonna have a beer. drink a whole lot and I don't think I've ever actually shared much of it on the channel um, obviously I drank a little bit a little more when I was younger but there's more fun, fun things to do nowadays but I don't mind the occasional beer and I don't really get to pick what I drink because normally it's just the beers that get left at our house when people visit so but first we have Coors Light Just happened to have the perfect view of sunset right there. This is unreal. It just never gets old. Never gets old. I wish I could build a house in here. Cheers to that.
see if we can get over here and catch what's left of that sunset. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, I'm committed now. <laughs> I committed and I won't I almost went swimming. Leave the camera running just in case I fall in. This could be kind of funny. I'm trying to get right over there. There's a, a flat piece that I could sit on. And enjoy a beverage with a view. Oh, I don't know. I'm missing some pieces here. That's the one I want. I don't know if I can get to that one. Let's change the route here. Getting there, haven't fallen in yet. Oh, that one is loose. Do not lean on that one. I changed my mind. This is the one I want. Sunset disappeared, but I will still take it. So I'm just going to enjoy the vibes and the sounds for a little bit, and uh, we'll have dinner here shortly. Lunch. It's probably going to be blown out on the camera. Let's try this. Perfect. All right, so I've done these before. do them again because they're delicious I'm one of those people that I don't think there's such thing as breakfast food I think it's just food so we're gonna have some cured fish bagels I forgot a cutting board but we'll make it work um, this is some cured yellow jack it's actually been probably I don't know, maybe two or three weeks. I'm still eating on it. After you cure it, it lasts for quite a while. Bagels and a little bit of cream cheese. Bagels are probably stale by now, but that's okay. some capers I don't want to bring the whole jar because I'd eat the whole jar some 
tomato. Now this was, like I said, yellow jack. What I do is just take little thin, I'm not going to make you watch all this. Take just little thin slices. You want a relatively sharp knife. And this is cured. This was salt and sugar. And a little bit of dill. Made an episode on this a couple weeks back. Yeah, maybe I'll link it for you if you're interested in seeing it. But it is delicious. So if you're sitting at home and wondering what the cured fish, I don't think it's as common as what you normally have fish. But if you're wondering texture-wise, flavor, it's salty, a little sweet, got a little bit of dill to it. Texture-wise, it's almost like, like, almost like licorice. It gets Real firm, but it, it snaps when you bite into it and gets soft. Maybe a little softer than licorice. That may sound bad to some people, but it's definitely firm, but there is something about it that I just love. So you shave it all off that skin. Give that back to the ocean. And there's our cured fish bagel for dinner. I don't have a toaster out here, so this bagel is probably going to be pretty soft. Mm. I have cream cheese everywhere. All over my face. That's so good though, it's one of my favorites. I just love it in here. Thought about doing some fishing, but I'm really just enjoying the ambiance, honestly. The, um, you can see me now, hopefully. The um, bugs came out a little bit right at sunset, which they don't bug me too much, but they do come out. We have no see which I know on the other side of the world they call them something different, and then mosquitoes, but we don't really have that many mosquitoes. The no see come out really heavy right at sunset and right at sunrise, um, but it's been dark for maybe an hour. And I haven't had a single no see them bother me. So, it really cooled off. The wind is moving through here. It's just lovely. I wish you were here. Okay, it's about time for bed. So this mat is pretty neat. It's like I said, it has memory foam. I said it earlier. It has memory foam in it, but it also fills up with air when you unplug it. And if you want, you can blow air into it and pressurize it, but it's pretty awesome. So as you can see, it's a perfect fit. This is why we designed this boat this way, so we could 
lay down and sleep all the way. I'm 6'1", and I should have at least a few inches extra, so. That'd be pretty cool. Not a big fan of thick pillows. I just use a towel. I think that's about all I need. Well, I reckon I'm gonna get some sleep and I'll see y'all manana. Maybe we'll uh, wake up and catch the sunrise. still floating so that's good as I was saying those no see them show up sunrise and sunset they're already here they're starting to look for stuff to eat in the middle of the night the, it was really cool the moon came you can still see a little bit the moon came out and it got real bright and the wind shifted a little out of the north so it channeled right through here it was really cool actually I wasn't hot at all I slept really well just amazing oh, I think um, I think I'm gonna get away from these bugs see if we can go watch sunrise So I guess the purpose of this video was to kind of test the boat, so I'll let you know. Slept great, uh, boat wasn't too loud, it wasn't too rocky, it's nice and calm in here. Um, but I, all in all, I'll give it a pass. I had plenty of room, like I said, it wasn't, wasn't crammed, wasn't uncomfortable. Um, I'll call it a W. But like I said, we'll go see if we can uh, catch that sunrise. Seems like a nice spot. See that wind is still honking through here. Let's set this up and we'll watch sunrise and close this thing out. Just like that, the day has begun. I appreciate you coming along. Um, I would say the camping test run was a great success. And uh, we'll be doing a lot more of these in the, in the, the winter time. It's still a little warm down here. I think the highs are like 85, 87, and our lows are like 81, but um, come around end of October, November, we'll start getting cold fronts and it cools down into the 70s and on occasion 60s and 50s. So we'll be doing a lot more camping. Um, but I appreciate you coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. Someone gathered some joy from this. And that is all I have. I will see you on the next one. Later.